Hey, what the hell's going on, you guys? It is Tupac Player Negative AE, and welcome to a game that I've been excited about since pre-launch. Um, I remember watching a video on this on YouTube of like early, early gameplay footage, and I fell in love back then. So I'm really excited to boot this up, press any button to continue. Will I finish this game? I don't know. I know myself well enough to know that even if I enjoy a game a lot, I won't like play it all the way through uh so i'm hoping to um but we'll see what happens <sighs> okay so this is moonlighter um i guess i uh, it would be hard for me to explain hard recommended oh you son of a bitch i don't like the word hard if it's recommended i'll do it like normal hard very hard it's like i don't want to choose hard i want to choose the normal experience but if the hard is recommended then that's the normal experience one night mazes of full ex extraordinary treasures appeared in this land. they called them dungeons strange ever-changing ruins of unknown lands soon a village of slightly curious of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons they named this Rionka. Amongst the settlers, two groups shined the brightest, heroes and merchants, glories and riches. But the dungeons pr proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Uh, long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. J is continue. I might need to use a controller. It recommends a controller, but I always usually use keyboard to start. Okay. Figure out how to run. Space is to tumble. D, K, and J, and then E. Okay. Got it. Okay. We can roll through enemies. You can roll through fire. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, I can already tell the dodge mechanic is going to be something that I need to get used to. Um, but it's totally alright. E to use a health pot. I see that the third hit does more damage than normal. I'm interested in playing this game. Um, I guess you're a shopkeeper and you want to try to bring back as many supplies as possible. Uh, and the stuff on your person, I believe, you keep, but the stuff in your backpack you lose if you die, if I remember correctly. Um, I remember only from the early alpha, so things might have changed uh, from what I remember. I think like an ancient pot would be better than a twig, you know? Hopefully we got to keep the stuff that was in our... I don't know, actually. I don't know, because that was like a tutorial. Got spit out of that shit. So 
sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, and we'll have you now. I have you now. <laughs> I, uh, I misread that. I read that as, I will have you now. <laughs> Which is the complete opposite of what that man meant, I'm sure. Yeah, so this is kind of the gameplay loop. The gameplay loop is going to the dungeon, um, find some rare materials that you can sell, and then come back and sell those items for money, buy new gear, go back, you know. Um, I am not sure past like a certain point in the game. Uh, I think like after this tutorial, I'm not sure what happens. Um, so it'll be super interesting. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could dim? Listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door is non nonsense. It's foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. As for creator's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I'll have a little need for it now. Thank you. Now then, get up. You're wasting light. And have you neglected the shop all day? Let's see if I can get through, through your hard head some tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many years ago. This game is beautiful, by the way. Like, even the chat bubbles look really good. Um, which is hard to do. about that successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things you must know the items value as well as its demand come now open up the shop and allow customers in I can't place anything I open the shop though Uh, did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. So this one's gonna be too much. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. The point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in, and in low demand. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information. You have gathered or you have gathered on artif wares and artifacts. Got it. Got it. So 100 is too little, 200 is too much, 150 is like, alright, I guess I'll buy it. And then anything less than 100 is stupid. Interesting. But see, the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring the shop to its full glory? That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons and uh, don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. <clears throat> so am I a boy with like crazy old hair? Like why do I have white hair? Go on. Uh, I have it equipped. Does he want? Head off to the dungeon, boy. Who are you? And uh, they have become a daily part of our lives, even a part of our food. Alright. <clears throat> Let's continue on. Let's actually try to tackle one of these dungeons real fast.
Alright, so I'm not sure. Now that I'm done with the tutorial, what happens here? Alright, Golem Dungeon 1. So this is going to be very much like Binding of Isaac where everything is random. Uh, as far as uh, shit, you can fall off ledges. So I got to be using my roll a lot more. I kind of like the broom because it has reach. You know? Like the sword is very close range, but the broom is like fucking killing it right now. Like, I couldn't do this with the sword. Now, if I have to quickly take out a bunch of small enemies, I'll switch very really quickly to the sword, you know? But if I am taking out just one enemy at a time, I'd rather use the broom. Look at this reach. He can't even, he has like no idea. man had no idea. Okay. Got a skeleton. Read to a person. Far better luck than I. My time is short. I took injury from her and across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out though. It'd say I, I fared better than he. Caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. One of this map, diagram, whatever it is, I was right. Called me crazy. Said, old crazy Pete has lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of some sorts. All of them linked to that giant door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Renoka. Sadly, I won't be able to see the door open. Whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should still be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door of Renoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Big boss gonna kill me. I supposed to let them all out. Now I now have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, uh, big boss gonna be so upset with little me. Okay, so they're just telling me that I need a key from each of the dungeons. I'm in the far right dungeon, or far left dungeon. It looks like they're numbered too. One, two, three, four. Uh, and I'm guessing that's a difficulty, so we'll be heading to the purple one next, I believe. Uh, wait, how do I check? It's 200 gold to use my pendant. Oh, and I can't leave. So they're going to make me use my pendant. Okay. Sure. Go to town. We didn't get very much on that dungeon run. But it is now daytime. Do I sleep? No. Never. Uh, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly? It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You found good old Pete? Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in. Attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. It would be nice to see some new life in Rinyoka. Nice indeed. Alright, we just completed, I, I can't move, we just completed our first thing. I know where it is, I see the exclamation point. Investments, shop, or Jesus 4000, investments, town. Okay, so these two only need 500, so that's more achievable, uh, we'll probably do that next. 
Nyoka, what a town. I agree. Let's go ahead and enter our shop real quick. Can I change the price of some stuff? Alright, so hold on. What are we going to sell? Probably a stack of 10 of these. Yeah, you have to hold to grab the whole stack. Uh, we'll also sell some whetstone. Uh, and then we're also going to sell some of this. And we're going to sell them for... Let's sell them. We're going to sell them for 120 I'm gonna sell them for 120. We're gonna see what happens. And then, oh, we have to give these a price. I'm not selling these for free. Let's go ahead. Wait, that sells for, holy shit, a thousand? Go ahead and say 10. I'll say 10. Because there's 10 of them, so. Let's open up the shop. Can we open up the shop? What's going on? Hi. We're just testing some stuff out here at the Moonlighter shop today. Oh, uh, it's real low. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. I got you. I got you. Let's go for five. Go for five. Uh, actually, no. You know what? No one's done that yet. So let's go ahead and close that. Okay, 120 is pretty good. People are liking 120. It's a little bit more money. Here we go. Is it too much? This girl likes it. Okay, that's way too little. Jesus. Okay. Really? So these suck. These these just need to be thrown in the trash. Uh, maybe three? Are you serious? Ten of those for three isn't enough? You didn't take it. Jesus. Alright, we'll drop it down to one. Are you gonna buy it? It's literally one, it's 10 gold. And that's too little. 30 is too much, but 10 is too little. So 20. Is it almost here? I don't know why I did that individually, but we're fine. Boom, there we go. Stack of 10. Worth 20. We figured it out. More stuff. You can buy some of that. Probably worth exactly 20, right? Yeah. Perfect. One second. I'm selling more stuff. Okay, we should probably just sell one of these. That's how we should do it. Sell one of them for like a certain amount, you know? Like, I'm gonna sell this one rod for a hundred. We're just gonna see how that how that goes over. I don't think it's worth a hundred. For 50 now. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Cut it in half and see what they say. What do they say? Still too much. Alright, cut that in half. Now 
now it's cut in half. What do we think? What do we think? What was what's going on? What is our what is our opinion on that? Can we have someone go over there? Is that a steal? Okay, that's perfect. It's worth 25. Thank you, sir. Read. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Oh, and this is all my shit. Okay. So we should quick move all. Cool. I'm glad that that's a feature. Oh, and we have two chests. Good. Let's go to bed. I think that's everything. Wait. Should we go back to the thing? I think we should go back. We don't need to go to bed. Okay. You're just telling me jack shit. Alright, we're going back in. Guys, it might already be... I might already just want to keep playing. We're going back in. Um, we're at 20 minutes. I thought about stopping it there. Uh, but I just want to go in one more time to the dungeon. We won't sell anything tomorrow. Don't know what that is. Good, those are worth 25, dude. Now I know exactly how much those are worth. The bad thing about this broom is that it doesn't do damage, but it's uh, very... Okay, so we should switch. Because it's much easier taking out those guys with that. It's much easier taking out like the heavier units with the other thing. What is going on? Read this. Me not. Thank you. Today marks my first steps into these mysterious. This is giving me some like rogue legacy vibes, you know? Small and incredibly charming village. Like, I know this is kind of uh, binding of Isaac y, but like, it's definitely rogue legacy. Like, with the like hidden novels everywhere, you know, someone that's already been here. Uh, these dungeons seem to build themselves around the oh, and entering unique maze for each person never the same labyrinth If no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now these these are the questions Many right now are flooding to see the dungeons for the treasure completely disregarding the inherent danger of hostile creatures outside Just for some golden fame, but no not I know it's all about the questions for me where do these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what. I'm here for the how and why. Okay. Glad that I'm not falling off the edge there. Good, good. This. Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers press a stone, that's some chest. Okay. okay. That's kind of what I thought it did. It heals you. I kill this guy before uh, he causes a problem. And we're gonna hit this guy a bunch. Can I? I guess it's not that hard to kill him with the sword and it does a ton more damage. Like I said though, I like the broom. I think this has more, um, what is that and why does it have that? Must be placed at the top or bottom of the bag. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Okay. So there's different things that can only be placed at certain parts of my inventory which is interesting to say the least what is this oh no did I just see something I shouldn't know uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that 
one of the strange devices that the creature dropped when he fled. This one's rich, actually, almost quite literally rich. For every item you place into this device, gold of some perceived value drops out. It's great if you need to use your pendant in a pitch. This device looks like a mirror, so I'm just gonna call it the mirror. Simple. I do wonder, though. Where did the treasures dropped inside go? Am I getting the best deal here? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So, if I need to leave, so right now my pendant costs 300. Um, if I need to leave, I can sell stuff to equal 300, you know, but probably for like a reduced price, you know. Um, I like that. Okay, we got uh, we got hit there. The prime situation in which. supposed to all right let's go ahead and cop the broom real quick okay I got it I got it I got it I, I, I got it. I was confused at first, but oh, I got it. Yeah, we're getting some decent stuff. Nothing in this room to be gained. Let's go ahead and use a health pot real quick. No way. Okay. I don't know what those are. Climb back up. Okay. How many of those do we get? Do we get more than one of those? Is it everybody gets one? I don't want to like loot. Oh my god. How many of those do I get? Do I have to like fight enemies normally over there? That was just a big waste of time down there. Oh, here we go. get those enemies immediately. There we go. Easy. Oh, dude. Quick move. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Quick move. All. Cool. We might want to use our pendant here. I'm a little bit greedy, though. greedy all right let's just get to the next level and then we'll we'll go ahead and pend in our way out of here this is fun what is this read one more item dropped by that strange jelly creature 
This one is a little more straightforward than the mirror. Similar to our pendants, if given enough gold, we can portal to safety. But, this is a big but. And this is a big but, huh? The portal remains open after use. Meaning, one may travel back to the very spot they departed from. Simply amazing, very convenient. For the time being, let us call it the Catalyst. Quick tip. Catalyst requires quite a bit more gold than our pendants. That it does. That it does. Alright, well... We're just gonna head back. Uh, what is this gonna do? Destroys one item... Cursor is placed. What is this? Uh, it remains hidden while currently in the dungeon. Interesting. Alright, yeah, we're gonna head back. We out this bitch. Peace. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for our Moonlighter gameplay. We got to, what, rank 3, and then it looks like there's a boss there? Uh, very, very interesting. We're just going to go ahead and head back. It's saved, which is amazing. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed Moonlighter, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I feel like playing this a lot, uh, but you never know. It was cool. It was cool. Uh, I'm interested to see what these items are. What was this that was not? What was this that was not revealed? It's a broken sword. We got a volume that we can and a rune tool. I don't know. Crazy. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode of this. Uh, hope to see you guys there. Peace out, you guys.